Well, 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 isn't this a delightful surprise? I've had my eye on Kyborg Arena since its original announcement trailer. I had very low expectations, truth be told, but was still curious as it looked like simple action fun. Bash now, think later sort of game, and sometimes we just need some of that. Today I noticed a demo was available to try out and thought, why not? Well, let me tell you how glad I am I decided to try this little game out. It is an addictive rush, and that's why I'm dedicating this whole video to it. Bring some attention to a game that could easily be overlooked and shouldn't if you're a fan of brawlers. Plus, you can just download the game yourself off Steam after you're done watching this video. Now, let's smash some heads in together. Cyborg Arena is a third person action game. The goal is to bash everyone around you and destroy anything that moves. Your hands and feet as the deadly weapons they are to use brutal after brutal moves. There is nothing to discuss here. Just a knuckle sandwich and making sure that they eat it. Enemies can come at you from all directions in your square shaped arena. Just point the joystick in the general direction you want to attack and use your light or heavy attacks to get the job done. You can mix the light and heavy hits to rip out different combos as well. Surprisingly, you also start with a handgun. You can quick fire for auto locking and less damage, or take a moment to aim to hit weak spots on enemies and generally do more damage. Controls are responsive as well. There is a slight intentional pause when you make contact, which I like. Thought I wouldn't, but it makes the hits feel a bit more impactful and you can also counter hits, that feels good as well. Where this game shines and makes up for the fact that you cannot walk around like Streets of Rage or Golden Axe, yeah, just chucking in some retro games in the convo because why not, where it shines is between rounds, after you beat a certain enemy type, you rip out literally an upgrade of your choosing from the fallen foe. You are a machine, or at the very least there's strong cyberpunk energy <laughs> coming here. Because everything about you can be replaced. Your head, body, legs, arms, upgrade anything and everything to unlock heaps of cool moves. All of this is not just your numbers going up by the way. You will see all of the visual changes as you transform your fighter into the ultimate fighting champion. I always give credit to devs who do this and I will continue to do this today. I hate it when game upgrades are just stat boosts and you stay looking exactly the same. In Kyborg, your fighter will look different depending on the choices you have made and it's so much cooler for it. There is a lot of different guns with different abilities you can grab. All the lads are here. Handguns, shotguns, machine guns, and of course, made up cyberpunk tech. So expect the unexpected. Melee weapons can also be picked up, changing things up nicely and changing the pace of the game until the weapon seemingly breaks. Or at the very least, I managed to lose mine. But it was fun cutting through everyone with the massive random axe that I found. Honestly speaking, playing this game makes me think of those old PlayStation 1 style wrestling games. It's like a wrestling ring where anything goes, but more insane in every possible way. The enemy variety is rather fun as well. You've got your goons that are your size, but other times they literally tower over you. Bull machine, part machine, and cool designs in between. You never know who or what you 
fighting up against next. The moves you unlock are very creative as well and will make everyone's runs throughs feel different. Do you want to just buff yourself up? Bullies, you can do that. Or do you want to unlock completely new abilities? My favorite was to remove the dodge slash roll ability. My bad, by the way, I forgot to mention that you can dodge and roll, but you can replace this ability with teleportation. I was zapping around all over the place with a bit of electricity like I was Kakashi from Naruto and I was loving it. The game is brutal as blood explosions is a plenty, heads go flying and it all happens at a satisfyingly fast pace. Already lots of different enemy types and it comes together very smoothly. I would recommend doing the tutorial as well just to go over everything once just so you have a bit more of an idea of what's going on. You play in an endless arena mode, so it's all about seeing how many waves you can survive and there is a currency system as well, so you can keep upgrading your fighter as you go. What is fun with the mentioned new and upgrades as you tear them straight out of other people is what is offered is not the same each time, right? So the first time you play, you get a bunch of upgrades, you'll get a bunch of weapons, you'll get a bunch of offers, you'll get a bunch of new abilities. But what is offered to you, what your choices are, and what you choose will be different every time. That way it doesn't feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again. It leaves a feeling of mystery, thinking, okay, what hasn't been shown to me yet? What different combination, what can I put together? So it encourages, you know, experimentation, stops the experience from getting repetitive. By the way, if you feel that video games should be all about escapism and definitely not activism, please, please make sure you hit the subscribe button now to help empower voices like mine. I want games to be games and not used in anyone's political messaging. Gamers need to stick together and uh, let's head back to the Smexy video. What's interesting here as well is Kyborg Arena is meant to whet our appetites for the main game Kyborg, which will let you actually explore environments, have a full story, and all that roguelike goodness. Well, I'll tell you what, after experiencing this concentrated version of the combat, I have added this game to my Steam wishlist. So, uh, so the plan worked. <laughs> well done, development team. You definitely have my interest, um, thanks to Kyborg Arena, for the actual Kyborg game. Because funnily enough, while I was playing Kyborg Arena, all I could think about was, man, I understand these are probably indie devs, and this is probably the most they can afford, but you know what? At least the combat's really good. But it is so satisfying to learn after the fact that, no, no, there will actually be a proper version of this game outside of the square shaped arena that is very fun at the moment don't get me wrong but the greedy side of me is like oh man i wish i could just run around like the streets of rage or something and turns out that is exactly what we will be able to do in the future so i'm really looking forward to that and um, pr i'll probably review that game on launch I'll, I'll probably get in contact with the developers or something and um get myself a review key so i can help them out because yeah credit where you i think this game's doing good now we don't have a specific release date for the main game yet, but if the demo is any indication, I would wager we are not far off. It's in a pretty good condition. Google claims this game is launching on the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, on Xbox, and of course PC through Steam, as that's the footage you can currently see. The game is not in a perfect state, as I did funnily enough. Uh, I lost my legs at some point and became a hovering legless killing machine. This was the only bug I personally came across, but it's a demo and frankly, otherwise in an excellent state. If it's been forever since you've played a brawler, I would highly recommend giving this demo a shot. The random upgrades and options, the fast paced action with satisfying hits and combos, with difficulty that feels fair, like I died a lot, I didn't get particularly far, but you know what? It hasn't deterred me because it was fun, I'm more than happy to get back into it. I really enjoyed smacking some punks in the face, and I'm sure you will too if you give this a uh, chance. God bless you all, take care, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, bye-bye.